Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to a brand new video on the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you two ways that you can help scam baiters report websites. Let's do this. Why you have done such a thing? Often during live streams and in chatting with other people, the question is always asked, how can I help? What can I do to help? What are some things we can do to scam bait if we don't want to pick up the phone? So I'm going to show you a couple of ways that you can help scam baiters without having to pick up a phone, without having to call any scammers yourself. If you use Google Chrome as your main browser, one of the very first sites that you should go to to report a website is safebrowsing.google.com. You'll come to this page right here. What you want to do is it'll go over a lot of information. If you want to read, you feel free to but it'll go over a lot of different things with regards to how this website came to be and why it's there. But what I wanted to draw your attention to is right here under the policy uh, section. It says, safe browsing gives users the ability to protect themselves from multiple types of unsafe sites and applications. Our policies help define the type of web threats about which safe browsing will notify users and webmasters. So there's three things here. One is malware, two is unwanted software, and three is social engineering. So it says here, with regards to malware, since 2006, safe browsing has warned users when they attempt to navigate to sites that might be malicious. Malware is software specifically designed to harm a device, the software it's running, or its users. Unwanted software. In 2014, we added protection against a broad category of harmful technology that we now call unwanted software. For example, Programs disguised as helpful downloads that actually make unexpected changes to your computer like switching your homepage or other browser settings to ones you don't want. Social engineering. Now if you have been around scam baiting, this is mostly where scammers thrive. Since 2005, safe browsing has protected users across the web from social engineering attacks. A social engineering attack tricks users into performing an action that they normally would not if they knew the true identity of the attacker. A common example is phishing, where a page tries to steal a user's password or other personal data. So in order to be able to report a phishing site or any type of malware or any of that kind of stuff, you must scroll all the way to the bottom where it says right here, contact us. It says report malware, report phishing. So what you want to do is you want to click on report phishing. And then this page will pop up. Now under the report phishing page, it'll say, thank you for helping us keep the web safe from phishing sites. If you believe you've encountered a web uh, page designed to look like another page in an attempt to steal users information, please complete the form below to report the page to the Google safe browsing team. When you submit sites to us, some account and system information will be sent to Google. We will use the information you submit to protect Google products, infrastructure, and users from potentially harmful content. If we determine that a site violates Google's policies, we may update the site's status in our transparency report and share the URL and its status with third parties. You may find out more information about the transparency report here. Information about your report will be maintained in accordance with Google's privacy policy and terms of service. So what you want to do is at this point, you want to enter the malicious website's web address. So in this case, I'm going to put one in that I know is malicious, which is boom. All right now it's going to ask you for a captcha thing here so click on it so it says i'm not a robot and then you know you could submit additional details about the phishing violation then you could submit report and it'll say right here thanks for sending a report to google now that you've done your good deed for the day feel free to take a second and rejoice and it goes over this different things as well here all right, so that's the very first thing. Now, the second way that you can report a site is by actually adding to Chrome this suspicious site reporter extension. So what you want to do is you want to go to the Chrome Web Store and look for suspicious site reporter. You'll be brought to this page here. And you can say click at the Chrome. It'll say it can read and change your data on safe browsing, all that information. So let's add the extension and you'll see it pop up here. It has like a little flag. OK, now. There it is. So now it says suspicious site reporter has been added to Chrome. Use this extension by clicking on this icon. So let's click on this icon. Okay. Now, when you want to report anything to Google, if you go on a website that might be suspicious, 
you can do this through this very extension right here okay you go through it it says what should be considered about this site details including your report it'll include the url that you're on it'll include the ip address you can take a screenshot and it'll also have refer chain which basically says how you got to this site and then you click on send report and it automatically sends the report to google now obviously when you report a website it's not going to be like thanos you could just go and then there it goes the website right it's not gonna that's not gonna happen google still has to research and all that kind of stuff but if there are enough of us reporting the site i believe it will make google really really perk its little ears up and be like okay this is a malicious site i hope this helps guys because i know that so many of you don't want to pick up the phone don't want to message scammers don't want to deal with all that kind of stuff but this is a way that you guys can help slow scammers down and really help us make an impact in the scam baiting community if you want to see more helpful tips and content like this let me know in the comment section and i'll do my best to provide you with more tips more practical things on what we can do as a community to work together to bring scammers to a slower 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 pace thanks so much for watching guys and i'll catch you next time peace